In this video I'm going to show you how you can convert an autonomous AP to a lightweight AP. You might want to do this if you've got an existing installation or deployment of autonomous APs. You're considering putting in a wireless controller or you are putting in a wireless controller. And you don't want to go out and buy all new lightweight access points. Um, you don't have to, you can convert your existing autonomous APs to lightweight APs with the field recovery image. You can download this from cisco.com. Um, if you've got a valid support contract, just go to the support section, uh, error and access points, and download the relevant image for the your access point model. You'll know it's the field recovery image, it will say, and it will also have in the file name RCVK. Um, well, at least for the 1140 series, which I'm using here, it does. Uh, but it should say, when you go to, there's, there should be a few options, the lightweight, autonomous, and the field recovery image. You need the field recovery image. Okay, so the command we're going to use is the archive command. I'm going to say download SW. We're going to overwrite. And we're going to reload after we after we load the image. So what does that mean? So we're going to archive, download the um, software, and we're going to overwrite the existing autonomous image. And after we've loaded it, we're going to reload the access point. Now we've got a few options here. We can either get it, grab it HTTP, Flash, uh, from Flash if it's preloaded, or we can download it via TFTP. So I'm going to do, do it via TFTP. I'm going to do 192.168.2.3. And oh, I believe it's C eleven forty R C V K nine W eight dash tar fifteen two dash two G B dash tar. I think that's it. Uh, so hopefully there we go. Yep. Yeah, so it's loading the image. Obviously, you'll need a TFTP server set up on your local subnet, and you'll need to give your access point a an IP address rather. So let, let's just let that load up. So basically what it's doing now is extracting the files to the flash. It's going to overwrite the existing autonomous image and then it's going to reload. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video and once it's all reloaded and up and running again I will come back to you. Okay, so we're back and the access point's now loaded. And you'll see from this screen, we've got uh, lots of CapWap stuff going on. Um, could not resolve CapWap controller. I haven't got a controller plugged into the network at the moment. Um, but if you did, it would try to auto discover it. So now we should see that the. Uh, I think the default username and password is Cisco. Uh, Cisco. Yep. And you can tell that the access point has been converted. It's now got the MAC address as its host name. And we shouldn't be able to go to global configuration because it's a lightweight access point. No configuration on a local access point itself. You've got a few options. Debug options, file management options. That's about it, really. Um, that sort of concludes it for the video. Oh, one more thing. If you need to go back to autonomous mode, you have to get the access point into ROMMON, delete the recovery image, the field recovery image, and, and then load up the autonomous image from ROMMON mode. Pretty easy. Not, not much of a biggie. Um, and that's it. Please leave some feedback in the comments below, and uh, I hope you found the video useful.